In this video, we'll write the equation for KCl plus H2O, potassium chloride plus water. Potassium is a metal and chlorine is a nonmetal. So when we have a metal and a nonmetal, we have an ionic compound and we have to take into account the ions. We look on the periodic table in K, potassium, that's in group one. It has a one plus charge. So we'll put a plus up here. And then chlorine is in group 17, sometimes called 7A, the halogens. It has a one minus charge. So we'll put a minus right here. And you can see the plus and the minus. They cancel out to give a net charge of zero. This is a neutral ionic compound. We'll take solid KCl, add it to liquid water. And when we do that, it dissolves. It dissociates into the ions. We have K plus and we have Cl minus. Because the K plus and the Cl minus, they're dissolved in this water, we write AQ after each one of them. AQ means aqueous or dissolved in water. Since we have AQ after the potassium cation and the chloride anion, we don't need to write water on this side, the AQ that accounts for the water. That makes this the equation for potassium chloride plus water, KCl plus H2O. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.